So in today's video, we're going to take a look at overclocking our GTX 1050 graphics card. Uh, we're going to do this using some benchmarks in 3D Mark, uh, mainly the Night Raid benchmark. Uh, Night Raid is probably sort of the lower down uh, benchmarks within 3D Mark. It's for Direct X12 uh, testing on PCs. Um, Skydiver is probably more suited for this PC, but it's it's for medium to high end PCs. I wouldn't call this a high end PC. Um, and then uh, Fire Strike is definitely higher up. So you're going to get really low FPS within Fire Strike, maybe like 30 to 40 FPS within that benchmark. Uh, Skydiver probably around I don't know 80 to 100, and then within Night Raid. Uh, probably like 140 average. Uh, so to start off, we're just going to do base settings uh, within gigabytes um, overclocking. So this is a gigabyte GTX 1050. So we're just going to put it in overclock mode within the software, which boosts the GPU clock to 1506 megahertz and the memory clock to 7008. And then after this, we're going to just play around with some of the clocks, um, play around memory clock with the with the GPU boost clock and see what we can get our scores up to. Um, so to start off, we're just going to do a night raid benchmark with the entire benchmark. So we're going to do graphics and, um, and CPU. Should run that. Probably skip through this. Uh, maybe just show the graphics test so you can get an idea for FPS and how it compares uh, with our overclocked edition. And I am filming this from a camera rather than uh, screen capturing this uh, just to make sure that we're not losing any any graphics capabilities at all due to the to the capture of the video. So we're just this is all on camera. So I'm sorry if the the footage is a little rough. And there we go, there's our score, 17,521. Uh, so we got a 20,634 on the graphics score and then a 5,477 on the CPU score. So that is our base score just with the regular overclock coming from Gigabyte um, on the GTX 1050. So now that we have our score in um, for the base overclock, we're going to do our custom overclock now. So we're going to go into professional mode. And from here, we can adjust all of these settings. So I've already created a profile um, where I think we can still get a little bit more out of the graphics card. So I boosted the GPU boost up 
162 points to 1650. And the memory clock, I boosted to 7450 up 442. I think we can probably boost the memory a little bit more, maybe up to boost it 500 to 7508. We set the GPU voltage at 100%. That doesn't really matter. It's already doing that um, on the card. And then maybe we'll try to just bump the GPU boost up a little bit to 1660. So we'll apply these settings to the card. Uh, we'll double check that they took place just by opening up GPU Z. So as we can see, we're now memory clocked at 2002 and a boost of 1660 on the core clock. So default clocks for this card are 1367 megahertz base. We're now up to 1559, 1752 megahertz on the memory. We're now up to 2002 and then boost from 1468 to 1660. So I have run this before it has run. I haven't run exactly this high, but somewhere close. So hopefully there's no issues um, with the graphics card um, failing the test. So we should be good to go. So those are now applied and we will now run Night Raid one more time. And hopefully we can up our score. So let's see how we did on our upgraded benchmark with the new overclock settings. And there we go, an 18.344. So we got our graphics card up to a 31.228 from what I believe was like a 28.7. We'll go and compare those scores soon. Um, and our CPU score was, I'm pretty sure, pretty consistent at a 54.96. So now we're going to take a look in 3D Mark and look at our results. So we have the first result with just the base gigabyte overclock and then our manual overclock. So what we're going to do is compare these two and we're going to compare them along systems with very similar hardware. So the same uh, CPU and the same GPU. And here we go. So here's the top score, and we'll also compare it with the second top score. So we are in third place right now um, for this specific hardware setup. So looking into the scores a little bit more. So as you can see, my graphics score is way better than all the other graphics scores. So compared to our previous graphics score, we had a 28.634. We then boosted that to a 31.228. Looking at the other two scores, the first and second place score, there's they're 28.706 and 28.497. So these are probably non-overclocked graphics cards. 
So those are just base scores. Where they're really beating my score is CPU score. Um, so it's about a thousand points higher on CPU score, and their CPUs are running um, that CPU test much faster. So looking at the processors, it looks like their max turbo clock is set higher than the turbo clock allowed for an i7-3770. So the max turbo on an i7-3770 is 3.9 gigahertz or 3900 megahertz. But their clocks are going up to 4.2 and 4.1 gigahertz, which I didn't think you could overclock on KCPUs and, and boost and have that turbo boost go higher than 3.9. Um, so if you guys know anything that I do not, please leave it in the comments below as to how you think they might have been able to get their CPUs to boost higher than 3.9 gigahertz. Because for whatever reason, their CPUs are running faster, um, giving them these better scores, which allows them to get first and second place. But if we could get that CPU score up just a tad, we would completely beat, beat their scores easily by having higher higher CPU score. So we could almost break the record for this set of hardware, so the GTX 1050 and an i7-3770. We're close. We can maybe, it'd be hard to do it just on graphics, and I don't really want to overclock the card any more than I already have, just out of fear of frying the card and not being able to use the system anymore with a, with a broken card. Um, so that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the content. I had fun making this video, probably the most fun I've had in the video so far, just because it's it's fun to be competitive with benchmarking and, and compare yourself to other people with the same systems. So if you liked the video, if you liked uh, this kind of video with benchmarking and things like that, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Like I said before, if you guys know how maybe that CPU score on these other two scores uh, was raised so high, please leave that in the comments below. And anything else you want to leave in the comments below, please do that. Uh, and then if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. We'll be pumping out some more videos um, like this one, and then as well as our upcoming PC build with an i7-8700K and an RTX 2060 going into an NZXT H500i, um, along with a Kraken X62 AIO cooler for that i7-8700K. So if you're looking forward to that video, please subscribe so you can stay tuned to some upcoming builds. Again, thanks for watching.